Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video um, I'm going to be doing a video talking about some books that I gave five stars to. This video suggestion was from Brian so thank you very much. I was like struggling of what you guys wanted to see and I didn't know <laughs> what to make um, but Brian came through and it's true I really don't give a lot of books five stars so those of you who know me know I'm pretty stingy with them. If you remember my old reviews I used to do a lot of 4.75s and a lot of 4.5s because I wasn't... 5 had to be like amazing for me. So there's not even that many books I've given 5 stars. However these are some that I have given 5 stars whether they've been in like the past 6 years or what. So some of them may have changed but I'm gonna go through some of them with you guys and yeah let's talk about them. This one I've talked about like a lot so I'm gonna try to I don't know, keep it to a minimum, but this is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I really enjoy this one. It's um, beautifully written. It's about a chef and about just a girl like exploring the culinary arts and her experiences. This also has like a cute romance in it and everything, so this one's like a really really good read that I'd recommend. I, yeah, this one was definitely worth the five star. I read it a year ago, I think. Uh, but I really love Elizabeth Acevedo's work in general. Next up here I have a manga and this is actually Dead Man Wonderland. So this is volume 13. This is the final one. So I only gave the final one five stars. Uh, this series I read so long ago but it's kind of like a prison and then the people in the prison like compete in games and everybody votes on them and stuff. And it's like it's just a big thing. And there's there's this girl and then she meets him and it's, it's a weird time, but it's good. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to actually reread a bunch of these, like reread all 13 because they were so good. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a bit too, so. Next up here I have one book that I will like never forget, um, but that is The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This book I read in elementary school, but it's still, like I still remember um, details about it and like how much it meant to me at the time. So basically the quote on the front is, when you walk on death row you look for the light. Um, Monsters aren't born, they're created. So that's what this basically follows someone on um, death row and this investigator that tries to uh, get them off death, this death penalty investigator who tries to get them off of death row. And it's kind of like about the mindset of that. And then also just like the prisoners and there's a little fantastical element. And it was honestly like phenomenal. I remember exactly where I was when I read this. I remember, like I ex remember the time in my life perfectly <laughs> when I read this, but it was, it was really, really good and I would honestly want to reread this one again to see if I like it just as much. Next up here is a book that like I have no doubt if I reread it I'd give it five stars again but that is Hunger by Roxane Gay. This is a memoir that has to do with eating disorders specifically. Um, there's also some trigger warnings for like rape and sexual assault so please keep that in mind but Roxane Gay is a phenomenal writer and she usually writes about like women's issues and stuff so she's written like feminist stuff but this one more explores her personal story and also dealing with like an eating disorder and um, it was was so good. I have a really old review on it but it was like a book that I did not hesitate to give five stars to. Uh, one of my favorite memoirs ever as well. Next up here I have a play and this is actually Othello by Shakespeare. I loved Othello when I read it in high school. It was so so good. My favorite Shakespeare that I've read thus far but it had a lot to do with revenge and husband and a wife and there was just so much drama and yes I mean it is drama that's the point but it was like a really really good revenge plot and I really was totally captivated by this story. Like there's so many notes still written in here too. Desdemona, um, juxtaposition between this and this. Like I had, I did this for class so like I have a lot of little notes in here but I had a wonderful time like studying this with my class. Next up this is one that I read like six, six years ago I think. It's called Made You Up by Francesca Sapia and I still think about it because this is like the only YA book that I think I've read that deals with uh, schizophrenia as a topic and uh, it was about a girl set in high school and she's struggling with hallucinations so she takes pictures of things to look back on after to ensure that they were actually there and this just follows her like going to a new school, meeting a boy and struggling with this mental health issue. So this one was phenomenal and I love the ending and I love how they didn't make it some like you know sappy love story in the end and um, I thought it was I thought it was incredible and I would definitely love to see more work like this and I love Francesca Zappia's work in general. Eliza and Her Monsters is another phenomenal work by her that I'd recommend. Okay so this one some of you OGs will definitely remember but this is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. This used to be my favorite book like four or five years ago and I remember I really really liked it because it basically it talks about suicide however it's like a 
this girl and this guy make a pact together. So they make like a pact together and it's about both of them and what they were going through and then if they can follow through with the pact and stuff like that. Um, it's a very dark story but one that I found really really interesting and I could like relate to the depression elements of it a lot when I read it. So um, I just connected with this one really strongly and I really liked the writing style. I don't know if I'd feel the same about it now but like I would I'd be interested to reread and find out but like I don't even have time to read the books that I haven't read yet you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is about two 17 year olds and it explores um, depression and suicide and life. It's pretty good. I would recommend it. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything that I heard that was like problematic or like bad about this book, uh, but it's been a while. So like, I don't know. Next I have The Complete Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. I will always rate like The Telltale Heart and Annabelle Lee and The Raven five stars, like without a doubt. Those are like my three top and The Black Hat's a really good short story as well, but he's a phenomenal writer nobody has his writing style and like I love just like the gothic literature that he comes out with and like the darkness of all his work it's so good so okay so uh second to last here we have Warcross by Mary Lou I made a whole video on this a while ago why it was like my favorite book but this is a sci-fi novel and involves like a virtual reality world where this girl competes um in this Warcross tournament um those like Warcross tournaments where people can participate in this our main character hacks into it and she is called by the owner of Warcross to have a little discussion um, about how how she got through the servers how she did this all that stuff so we follow her she's one of the most badass characters I love her so much and I love the love interest as well the second book in the series isn't that good in my opinion but this one so good so I definitely recommend checking Warcross out I have I don't I have like three three or four copies of it that I that I bought I have four more here that I'm gonna kind of fly through real quick just to tell you guys about because I've talked about these a lot but I would love to do another video like this if you wanted to see it about more five star reads because there is more than this uh, that I've given five stars in like my six years of avidly reading but the version suicide is my favorite book of all time um, obviously deals with suicide and it's about these daughters who all commit suicide and then these neighbors across the street have to they try to put the pieces together of what happened to them they reflect on this like as adults like looking back so it's really really interesting the how and the why is another one that i gave five stars to this one was phenomenal it had to do with like adoption like finding your birth mother and stuff like that it also talked about uh teenage pregnancy which was really interesting so this one was so so good i tabs it up a ton then we also have like the king books that i talk about a lot so Misery's a five star for me. The Shining's a five star. Um, Mr. Mercedes is a five star. This this series, Mr. Mercedes, this one's a five star for me. It was a five star. Um, but yeah. Anyways, there you guys have it. Those are some books that I rated five stars over the past few years. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Brian, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you to everyone that stuck around till the end of the video. But if you stay till the end of this video, comment a snowflake down below. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content from me. And I also stream three days a week on Twitch if you want to hang out. I have a Discord server and all my socials are down below. So I'll see you guys super soon with a new video. Thank you so much for watching.